Once upon a time in a tranquil village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a wise Zen master named Koji. He was renowned for his serenity and ability to offer guidance to those seeking wisdom. One day, a troubled villager named Sora approached Koji with a heavy heart. Master Koji, Sora began, I am burdened by the toxic presence of a person in my life. Their negativity consumes me, and I am at a loss for how to deal with them. Koji listened attentively, his eyes reflecting the calm waters of a nearby pond. After a moment of thoughtful silence, he gestured for Sora to follow him. They walked to the edge of the pond, where Koji produced a small, polished mirror from his robe. Sora, Koji said softly, this mirror holds a lesson for us about dealing with toxic people. Observe. He held the mirror before Sora and asked him what he saw. Sora studied his reflection, a bit puzzled by the question. I see myself, he replied. Koji nodded. Exactly. When you encounter a toxic person, they act like a mirror, reflecting their own negativity, fears, and insecurities. Just as this mirror reflects your image, toxic people reflect their inner turmoil onto others. Sora thought for a moment and then asked, So, Master Koji, what should I do when faced with such a person? Koji gently took the mirror and tossed it into the pond, disrupting the reflection of the surrounding trees and clouds. The water rippled and then returned to stillness. When you encounter a toxic person, Koji explained, be like this pond. Allow their negativity to ripple through you, but do not let it disturb your inner tranquility. Just as the pond does not hold on to the ripples, do not hold on to the negativity they project. Sora nodded, his eyes widening with understanding. So, I should let their negativity pass through me without allowing it to affect me? Yes, Koji confirmed with a serene smile. Focus on maintaining your own clarity and peace. Remember that their toxicity is a reflection of their own struggles, not a reflection of your worth. Respond with compassion, but do not let their negativity take root within you. As the sun began to set, Casting a warm golden hue across the landscape, Sora thanked Master Koji for his wisdom. He left the pond with a renewed sense of purpose, ready to face the challenges of dealing with toxic people while staying rooted in his own inner harmony. The moral of this story is to remain like a calm and still pond when dealing with toxic people. Just as a pond allows ripples to pass through without holding on to them, we should let the negativity of toxic individuals flow through us without allowing it to disturb our inner peace and harmony. By maintaining our own clarity and compassion, we can avoid being consumed by their negativity and maintain our sense of self-worth and tranquility.